I'm Alex McCord for RumorFix.com, and we are discussing Episode 6 of The Real Housewives of New York City. London has called, the housewives have answered, and away we go. So, where are the girls staying? Not in an apartment of Heather's. No, no, they are staying at the Radisson Mayfair in the two-bedroom penthouse suite. Not sure where everyone else is sleeping, but my hotel spies tell me that this hotel is very, very, very accommodating for film crews. Lots of projects film there, probably why they chose it. Um, the reason there's no promotional consideration at the end, this was shot in November. They would have had to pay at least something for the room because that's one of the busiest times of the year in London. So the girls are there, now let's have some drama. I think the producers probably learned their lesson from Morocco last year to not let anyone calm down from jet lag because normally jet lag plus booze equals conflict. But not this time. Hmm. All right, let's try something else. Let's go shopping. Uh, the producers cleared lots of beautiful looking boutiques. They trot around Notting Hill going in and out of shops, but they didn't buy anything. Why? Because the producers weren't paying. Normally on housewife shows, if you set up a shopping trip, you pay, or you, the cast, negotiate with the store separately. Um, and in this case, clearly the producers didn't buy anything for them, so they're not going to spend their money. No New Yorker is going to buy anything retail in London because the prices are ridiculous, unless it's underwear at Marks and Spencer. So let's move on to some one-upmanship. Oh, Luann and Carol are one-upping each other, kind of, sort of, not really. Um, I liked at the moment at the very end when they started to take a purity test, and Luann mentioned she'd had sex on a ping-pong table, not very sturdy, um, but Sonia suddenly brought up that Luann had been written up in the press for being on tables that were sturdier, and Luann shut it down. That was a very discombobulated scene, lots of cuts back and forth. They really used what they could. Um, ultimately, if Luann wants to win the one-upmanship contest, she needs to do something better than bring up ping-pong tables and name-checking Annabelle's. That's a club in London that's been there for decades. I've been there, Simon's been there, everyone who's ever been to London has been there. She needs to come up with something better. Back in New York, let's get to our Twitter question of the week. Someone asked me, was Ramona's learning annex class actually at the same time as the London trip? No, it was not. The learning annex class was one month prior. This is why it would never have been used as an excuse why Ramona could not go to London. Um, also, some other evergreen scenes moved to fit within this time frame. Um, Ramona and Aviva went shoe shopping. They went to dinner. This brings up my real moment of the week award. I don't know if I'll give this award every week, but I am this week, and it goes to Ramona. Why? Giuseppe Zanotti. That's one of her favorite shoe stores in her real life. She's filmed there in plenty of seasons past, and I appreciate her consistency. She's going to places that she really genuinely likes to go to. That's good. That's a real housewife moment. Let's get back to London to the yummy tummy dinner at Sketch. Now, you might wonder why it looks like I'm filming this week's episode in my underwear. I'm in yummy tummy. I didn't even realize that I had it. I got it in a gift bag last week, and I thought I'd wear it in Heather's honor for this episode. So, we see at the Sketch compound of restaurants in London that uh, you have the sales team from Yummy Tummy and you have the housewives. Now, if I were Heather, I would have been terrified bringing her real-life sales team to the housewives. You never know what's going to happen. The housewives don't work in global corporate, uh, you know, they, they don't understand this global corporate speak uh, where you stand up and you say your name and you talk about why you love the product. It might sound like AA, but it's really corporate America or corporate England or corporate wherever. That's what everyone does. I've done it. Anyone who's ever had a big job has done it. Um, the housewives haven't really heard of Yummy Tummy prior to this, and the sales team haven't really heard of the housewives before this. The sales team are terrified. They've never been on a reality show before. Suddenly their boss is on one and they don't know what to do. They're deer in the headlights. The housewives are ducks out of water. Clearly the sales team try to um, play with roses. Somebody actually breaks the fourth wall and talks about being on the show. I noticed they quickly cut away from him at that point. Um, let's hope that next week's continuation of London brings a bit more drama. I'm Alex McCord for RumorFix.com and let me know what you thought in the comments. Thanks. Bye-bye.